You evolved, man, legend, filmmaker extraordinaire, ruiner of video games. supposed to be an emotionally gripping tale of a farmer named Farmer. Go figure. Who farms seaweed. Who farms seaweed for the kingdom. And the kingdom relies on seaweed. He's a seaweed farmer. What did we you think of the movie? The it, was, it was funny because it wasn't supposed to be funny. I hope it crushed his soul that we laughed during the tense, dramatic moments. No, even worse than that, I hope he realizes that the fact that a kingdom cannot be funded by seaweed <laughs> should be his biggest flaw in this theater. I like the like, magician, his magic is linked to how much he loves the king. I didn't even think he was farming seaweed. I think he was farming radishes at the beginning of the movie. I don't know where seaweed came in. Maybe he upgraded to seaweed. The there was no real land no, water Bert growing. Bert was talking seaweed. Some kind of analogy. It did not go through well. Some people fighting for seaweed or some shit. We were too busy laughing to hear the rest of the dialogue. Oh my god, it's Yui Paul. Oh my god. Oh my god. We had one and I was 
One back. moment. Yeah, sir. Do you mind if I ask you a quick question? Yeah, what? If I'm a big admirer of your films and such. But uh, just quickly, um, when it comes down to, say, when you go to great lengths to uh, elaborate on, say, a particular scene where you're trying to convey a very particular, say, deep-seated emotion, but uh, in, a, in a very uh, grandiose sense, the audience, say, depending on the audience, of course, will say, take it as a humorous kind of account. No, I, I think we're. Uh, How does that make you feel? No, I, I didn't. I was. I didn't watch the screening, so I don't know. But I, for example, where Bert Reynolds dies, I think it's a good scene, mm -hmm. and I, I don't think it's a funny scene to be honest. But it's a thing like in a in a, in a festival, it's also a little different. People reacting different to to a movie, and uh, I shot uh, showed it in Brussels, the Phantom Movie Festival in Belgium, and there was also they were laughing. Yeah. Like like in, in difference and and I think it's different if you see it for your alone again or whatever. Um, where the sun dies or something, this is not funny. Yeah. And uh, if you so, laugh there, then it's a little like uh, people getting it wrong. Well, no, yeah, this, no. I look. I like going to fe first of all to festivals and second of all, uh, I think in a festival you have the genre fans. They go, they look the movies and. Uh, you, you cannot make it everybody right, right? So this is the thing. And I hope that slowly I convince more and more people that I make good movies. So there's a thing like uh, I uh, I still I look a lot of movies. I, I compare a lot with other movies, and uh, I think you can absolutely whatever you can say. House of the Dead or Lone in the Dark was not a great movie, absolutely. But if people give whatever ultraviolet or Electra five points and Blood Rain one. Then they're out of their minds, and this is what, this is what I do. I see too many genre movies to not know where my movies are in the comparison to tons and tons of other movies, and uh, and, and so North American thing. culture is pretty much clusterfucked in the first place. I don't care what anyone says. I wish you continued luck in the, you. <laughs> in, in video game conversion movies. Yeah. So last and thing. Far Cry will be good. It's actually we we I think we had a good script, and it. It turns out very good. Can I actually get you to sign yeah. that ticket? Do, do you work a lot on the scripts, or like yeah, how much after, input do you have no, on the scripts? This is basically what I did after Alone in the Dark. We have to. Yeah. Uh, uh, after Alone in the Dark, I. Uh, Which I thought was fantastic. Uh, by the way. Uh, I spent way more money in project, project development and yeah. script writing and yeah. everything. And post I've wrote, Seed I've wrote, and on Dungeon Siege we had like four script writers, one and a half years working before we went in prep. And I think this paid off. And and uh, so I'm uh, and then Far, Far Cry because we had the right so long. We developed it also like for two years before we started shooting. I think uh, uh, this was one of the things I took out of the critics that I, I recognized the script of uh, House of the Dead and Alone in the Dark were not perfectly developed and this fucks you later on set yeah, and everything yeah. and this we, we didn't repeat it this but this was for me the point where I was pissed with Blood Rain because I think Blood Rain is, is from the script way better as the other two movies yeah. and if you get then the same reaction even with look Blood Rain looks great there's great music there's a big cast and everything and so to get the same reviews then I thought like okay then I really don't know what, uh, what I should yeah because it's not it's nothing what is fair it's like if you get a, like a, a review or a critic they say this or that yeah. it was weak or you should change this uh, you can I, I appreciate it yeah. but if you get like a totally trash thing like yeah. garbage what in the, in the clip like D movies you know you, look if Blood Rain is a D movie, what are yeah. all the other movies yeah. made? The independent yeah. movies, 99% yeah. of the world movies made every year yeah. are way under the level of Blood yeah. Rain. Yeah. Right? It's like I'll stupid. Yeah. So, and, and, uh, no, yeah, but this is uh, a thing I live with it, and uh, let's see, let's see in 10 years what people say that. Yeah. I love Yui Ball, okay? I don't care what anyone says. Anybody who can make that many shitty movies based on video games and make them seem half credible and seriously convince himself that they are A-list movies rocks my vote, okay? This guy has made House of the Dead, which has no plot whatsoever into a full-length feature movie. He has made Blood Rain, Blood Rain 2, 
He's now made Dungeon Siege into a movie, and he's soon to be releasing Postal and Far Cry. I can only expect the best from Yui Ball in the future. But it's the best of the worst. It's the, the best real... of the B movie class that thinks it's A movie class. I smelled his cologne and or natural musk. That was his <laughs> own natural German musk. What do you think he'll do next, Pong? I really hope that he makes Pac-Man the movie. Super Sokoban the movie. Where all you do is push around boxes for an hour and a half. I think Yui Ball could pull off a Sokoban movie. <laughs> I really do. Either Sokoban or Tetris the movie, where it's all about a bunch of Russian movers getting drunk and trying to fit a bunch of boxes into a truck. <laughs> we can't get this couch in the house, because it's L-shaped. <laughs>